All right, y'all, thanks for tuning the video tonight. Um, a lot of people have been asking, you know, how to correct the speedometer, how to get your TPMS, you know, if you want to drop those thresholds, stuff like that. So I'm going to try to do a tutorial on Forescan for you tonight so you can kind of see how to do those things and understand what you're doing when you're doing it, right? On Forescan, one of the things you want to do is always take your phone. If you make any changes, take a photo of the change before you make it and before you write it so that you have that on your phone and you have the original numbers that were in there. Okay, second part is basically make sure you have the newest version of Forescan, which is, as of this video, 2.5 something. It came out on November 17th. So you'll download that. You'll need a license. Um, I mean, the license is a couple, 10, 15 bucks a year or something like that. Um, they will give you a free trial license. You can use that too if you want. Um, I buy it because I program my trucks and I get them the way I want. So anyway, you will need the newest version to get these updates done. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, some of the things that you need to understand with Forescan is, is you're going to need a Microsoft computer, okay? Um, you can maybe do it with Android, anything Apple, you're just going to read codes with Apple. It's not going to let you write anything. So this is just a standard Windows little laptop that I use to program. And then you have two options after that. If you go to Forescan.org, you will see that you can order these off of there. They have Amazon links for you. So I have the OBD link. MX, which works great, but if you're not real tech savvy, um, you know, you're, you're, you have to Bluetooth connect this and then connect it to your truck and it's a couple extra steps. So if you're not the most savvy at all that stuff, you can go on Amazon and do a search for OBD Link EX. This is the hardwired cord. Now I do find sometimes that the programming seems to work better with the hardwired cord than it does with the Bluetooth. The same reason a wireless printer, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, this is pretty good, but I do prefer the cord over that. So that's just my preference. So let's go ahead and get the laptop booted up. I'm gonna get this phone over here. We're gonna do the TPMS first and show you how to change those thresholds. And yes, once you change them and you write it, your, your cluster's gonna change. You'll see it re re updating and rebooting. And then once it does that, you'll actually see the, the app on your phone, the Ford app where it says recommended pressures. Those are gonna change too. So it corrects everything across the board. Um, always remember that those are like five to 10%. So, you know, if you're gonna run 50 in your tires, you probably need to set it right at 45, 47, um, because it'll let you drop down to five to 10% below that pressure before it actually flags, okay? But then a lot of times it'll make you get air up past that pressure before it'll clear. So you just gotta know where you're gonna run. Um, you know, I generally, I think I set mine at 50. I run, I think 50 in the rear, 55 in the front. Never had any problem with it doing that. And then if I do have a flat or I get a low tire, it pops up enough. You don't want to drop them too low to where you don't get the light. So anyway, but uh, let's go ahead and get this, get the computer booted up, and let's go through these processes. Connected. It's going to populate all your modules over here. You're going to click on this little chip button, which is right there. And then you're going to see your modules pop up. And you can see right now we're looking for the body, the BCM right here, module configuration. Don't click on the as built. And then you're going to go down here. You're gonna click play. It's gonna load that module up. And then first thing you're gonna do is come up here to filter and we're gonna type pressure, P-R-E. Okay, so there's your front and there's your rear. You can see I have my front set at 50 and I have my rear set at 45. Now for an example, if I wanted to change the front, all I've gotta do is go down here. Like I said, take a photo of this before you make any changes always. So you can come back and put it back to what it was before if you have a problem. So you can just back that out and then you would put it at 45. You'd hit the check, okay? But now the problem is you haven't written anything, okay? So when you go down here to write, you would click that and it's telling you everything it's gonna write. The old value from 50 to 45, you hit the check box on that. It will reboot the instrument cluster. You're gonna see it go in and out. Um, you'll need to have the key on for that process for this one. So you just push the button on here when you're doing BCM changes, you let it boot the deal up. So before I do a write, I'm just gonna have it sitting there like that. And then when I click that, you're gonna see the cluster, it's gonna reboot, it's gonna boot back on, and it says uh, write or changes saved. Once that's done, it's, it's done. So the TPMS is very easy to change. Like I said, I don't need to change it on mine, so we're gonna leave it like it is. We're not gonna write it. And then when you're done with any module, you wanna come down here, you wanna hit stop, okay? 
Now, go back to your configuration of programming right here. You can see your list of modules again. Just wanna walk you through this so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Now, for changing the speedometer, what you've gotta do is you're gonna go back into this BCM, you're gonna play this module. Okay, and then we're gonna go up here. We're gonna type tire, and you're gonna see the tire circumference in millimeters, okay? $27.99 is what works. I've tested it on a few of these trucks. If you go over that, the, EC, the PCM does not like it. It's gonna to continue to throw a code, okay? So the first step you're gonna do is you're gonna click right here, and remember, take a photo of whatever your original number was so you can change it back if you need to. Go down here. This is where you would enter $27.99. Hit the checkbox, and then you go down here to write, and then you would write it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a heads up. What's gonna happen is, is you're gonna write that. The cluster's gonna reboot. You're gonna see it go on and off, and then it's gonna throw the wrench. So you will see the wrench pop up in the center and down in the bottom corner. Don't worry. We've gotta do a couple more things to get this cleared out. So before we get into that, now you know how to go to the BCM and change that number, okay? But now what happens is, is the truck has a lot of modules. It's got modules for the IPC, which is the instrument cluster. It's got a module for your BCM, which controls a lot of other things. There's, there's tons of modules that do a lot of things, okay? When we make that change, now what happens is, is the reason the truck's throwing a wrench is because your transmission control module still thinks it's your original number. Your all-wheel drive module still thinks it's your original number. And you have another module. So there's a couple modules that you've got to go in and relearn after you make that change. And so once you tell that PCM to relearn it, then it's going to see it. It's going to notice the new number, and it's going to put that new number, in it's, and it's going to change it inside the, T, the PCM. You're going to do the same with the TCM, and we're going to do the same with the all-wheel drive module. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. I've already got mine changed, but I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to handle that. But that's the reason the truck has a wrench because what's showing in the BCM does not match your TCM and your all-wheel drive module, and so it's gonna throw that wrench up, okay? So now we've gotta relearn those modules to get that cleared out. So let's look back at the screen. I'm gonna walk you through it, and I'll tell you kind of how I did mine. Sometimes you may have to have key on or key off. Um, you can try, and if it says like service interrupted, um, then you need to have the key off or key on. So let's look at this and I'll explain it to you. Okay, so once you've written that number, the 2799, like I said, you'll have a wrench. I don't need to write it, mine's already written. And we need to make sure we go down here and we need to stop this module, okay? Now we're gonna go back to our configuration and programming. Now if you go up, this is the order I want you to do it in. We're gonna do the PCM relearn initialization. Now for that one, you need to have the key off. So wait till everything boots down. And then all you're gonna do is come over here. You've got that selected. You're gonna go down here and you're gonna select the play. Okay, when you touch that play, it's gonna say initializing. It's gonna go through its process and just wait like five seconds or 10 seconds. And then it's gonna tell you, turn the key on and then you're gonna turn the key on. Then you're gonna click okay. And it's gonna finish this process. Now, once that process is complete, your PCM is written, okay? The next module was the transmission TCM module initialization relearn from central configuration, same thing. So you're gonna go down, but on this one, you're gonna need to have your instrument cluster on before you start the test. So go ahead and let everything boot up. Go to the TCM module. You're gonna go down, you're gonna hit the play it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna say initializing, wait 30 seconds, and it's gonna go through a process. And then once it does that, it's gonna tell you, turn the ignition off. And then you'll just go up here, you'll turn the ignition off, and then it's gonna, the bar is gonna finish up, and it'll say 100% completed, okay? The next step is if you scroll down here to your all-wheel drive module right here, initialization, relearn, same thing here, I did mine with the key on. If your module does something different and it throws an error, try it with the key off when you hit the play, okay? So went down here, you'll click play on that module configuration, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna load and it's gonna tell you, please turn the ignition off. You will turn your button off, you'll click okay, and then it will say complete it. 
once you get done with those three modules, um, the next step you'll have to do is you're gonna go into your DTC right here. See that? Click it. And then what you'll do is go down here to that little triangle and hit reset DTCs. Once you reset the DTCs, that's gonna clear everything out. And um, you, that 160 code will go away, the wrench will go away, and then you start your truck. If the wrench isn't there, you're good to go. And so I've tested this, I've done two or three of these trucks, I've driven them. It works fine with no issues. So once that's done, you're good to go. And then just remember, um, you'll go back up to, let's see which one it is. So you'll go to the car up here in that icon, just go down to disconnect right there and you will disconnect it. And it says not connected, unplug your cable. And then when you get in here to just start up on your truck, you should have no wrenches, no check engine lights or no issues in the dash. And I drove mine and I was within one mile an hour at 75 and 80 miles an hour. Okay, now the one thing to remember is if you're gonna go backwards, say you can't get the light off, you can't get the wrench off, and you feel like, oh man, what did I do? Something's wrong. Go back in your BCM, enter the original number that was in there, write that number, and then go through the same module relearn process, PCM, TCM, and all wheel drive, and then clear codes. Everything should go off, everything should be back to normal, okay? Stock. But even if you, let's say you, entered your stock code, something didn't work for you, you entered your stock code, you went in there, and then you go back in and it's it's still gonna have a wrench, even if you enter the stock code in the BCM, because you have to relearn those three modules again. Anytime you make a change, they all have to match. And so just make sure you're doing that. Again, Forescan is a little bit advanced. You can mess stuff up in there. So, you know, it's you're on your own to get in there. Um, you know, I'm just trying to kind of walk somebody through that hasn't done this before. Um, I know there's a lot of people in the group that have asked, you know, how to fix the speedometer, how to fix your TPMS. And so just kind of want to give you the 30,000 foot view. Um, if you've got somebody that's a little more advanced and that has used foreskin, you know, call them up, do it, whatever. Um, but anyway, appreciate you watching the video. Hope it helps you out. Um, 37s, I use 2799, work perfect. I have no issues, no check engine lights, nothing like that. So anyway. Hope it helps. Please hit that like and subscribe. The video helped you. We'll catch you on the next one.